Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Ultimate Alchemy. We have spruced up the place a tiny bit with some glowstone, and I went ahead and planted some seeds and sugarcane just to get that going. I don't remember exactly what we need those for, and what's nice is we can also just acceleration wand if we need... Wait. These don't have enough light. Oh no! Uh, we can always just acceleration wand if we need some. So I don't really need this many plants, but it kind of just makes sure that even if I'm not doing anything, it'll grow. No, the sugar cane's not growing. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. It's just really slow. Okay. This grows a lot faster and we can just stand here and collect wheat or seeds. So we'll probably have to automate seed production. I plan to use the uh, phytogenic infuser for most things rather than real growth. I think that will make a lot of things easier. But yeah, so as far as Batania, the next progress looks like getting the endo flames. So endo flames generate uh, mana from fuel and so we can feed it charcoal charcoal blocks, wood blocks, etc. And they will consume it and then they will put their power into a mana spreader, which is this thing. And then the mana spreader can shoot mana into a mana pool, which is one of these guys. And so we'll need to make one of each of those to start with. So we'll make a mana pool, a mana spreader. And then I need a bunch of endo flames. The more, the merrier. So let's work on getting a bunch of these petals. So we need light gray, red, and double brown. And we're gonna need more bone meal, which I just realized. Uh, and I think I'm out of compost. Yeah, so let's make some more compost. Compost. Shutting down internal server. Cool. Um, I don't know what that was about. That's new. Never seen that happen before. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we are now in a crashing loop. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I wonder, I wonder what this is about. Can I, is that all recipes are currently broken or just that specific one? Okay, just that one. All right, well, it doesn't like that recipe, so I will make it myself, I guess. Jeez. Um, yeah, we'll just do a stack of compost there. And then how much peat do I have? I still have a good amount of peat. Peat and repeat. Okay, so peat goes into bone meal. One stack, two stack, three stack, four, five stack, six stack, seven stack, more. All right, that's all I'll do. And then we needed petals. We said, I'll make some more whites while I'm here because I'm going to need more of those, uh, whatchamacallit flowers. Double brown, light gray, and red. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of random things, like a chisel. Okay, so for now I'll pick this up. You can just break them, thankfully. Some more white petals, and then red, light gray, brown. And then we bone meal all of that. And we shears all of it. And then we make more petals. Do I need more white petals? Yeah, I'll do I'll do one big white petal collection and then we'll call it good. I think that will be enough for maybe not the rest of the game, but for a long time. Because that's 64 white petals.
Okay, and then these ones... I will do... Oops. I will do all of them. And then that will be a lot of Indo Flames. Shoot. I thought I hit the choose key and I didn't. Okay, well. It's okay. Thankfully, I lined them up in such a way that I didn't lose any one color. I'll do this one more time and then we'll call that good. Red. Double brown. Light gray. Bone meal. Shears are selected. And there we go. Cool. And now we can make a bunch of Indo flames. I will need seeds. Should I leave some behind? Uh, let's see. What's the easiest way to replicate these? Phytogenic insulator needs lumium which we haven't set up yet, but that is induction smelting. Oh, aluminum blend, 10 silver and energized glowstone. Or I believe we can make it by alloying, which I'm not a big fan of alloying these days. So I might just use the method that spends a whole bucket Although, was that one bucket per... It's one bucket per four. I mean, iron's infinite, right? So that's not that big of a deal. It does require the use of a fluid transposer to fill the bucket, but maybe that's fine. I don't know. Anyway, we'll come over here and start making stuff. Um, we don't want a torch in there. How do we get that out? Uh... I just have to break it, replace it. Oh no. Water doesn't work? Oh, it only, it only worked because I had a reservoir in there. So we do need some sort of water filled item. Hmm. Um, let me Google real quick, because I know there are easier ways to do this. Autofill Petal Apothecary. You know, it might even say so in the book. Um, that looks way too complicated. No, most people are talking about buckets and bucket dumping and such. The urn from Thomic Exploration can do it, apparently. Interesting. I wonder if, I mean, we can just autofill buckets, but then we have a weird bucket loop going on. Can you empty a can of water into it? I wonder. Let's try that. I think you can. So what if we... You can. Uh, what if we put the water cans in here? Then what happens? I guess we'll find out. Uh, okay, so seeds. So then we go boom, 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 boom. And then we can right click with an open hand to repeat the recipe. What happened to that? Also, the water can's not working. Sad. <sighs> How many times am I going to do that? really have to be looking at the middle of it. I don't know 
why it's not bringing up the repeat option thing. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Tossing in a full bucket will also fill off carry with water. Oh, that's interesting. Shift right clicking with the, the with an empty hand will remove the last item. Okay, that's how you remove it. Um, comparators can detect whether the block has water. Dispensers. Right clicking the apothecary with an empty hand. It doesn't seem to be working. This only works if the apothecary's water is refilled. Huh. That wasn't working for me a second ago. I'm gonna steal the water from that carpenter. Boom, 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 boom. Water. There it is. Boom. Water. Boom. Seed. 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 Water. Boom. I like it. Okay, how many did I get? 12? That, I think, is a good start. So, we're gonna do Endo Flames up here, for better or worse. And we're gonna set up a little three by four area. I don't know if they can pull items from that far away, so we'll dispense items here. Maybe we'll just start like this and then one more on the front and we can always get more later. Um, I do want this to be symmetrical. Okay. And eventually we might have two mana spreaders shooting into two mana pools, but for now we've just got the one. And we'll go with full dirt up here. We have an easy dirt replication strategy, so. Yep, we can see it working over there. <laughs> okay, yeah, a couple more tiles. I'm also going to have to be concerned about light underneath me. That's why I put those glowstone bricks by that grass, just to make sure there's enough light there. And I guess I have to think about light up here, too. We'll put some glowstone in the corners here. That should help a bit. Because glowstone's brighter than torches by one, if I'm remembering correctly. That could be wrong. It's honestly high chance I'm wrong. My Minecraft knowledge is both old and often outdated, which is the same as old, I guess. So then you have to shoot that into that. And I need a little wand to configure these things. So the wand, we need one of these like petal wands, which needs living wood twigs. And somehow you need two entire pieces of living wood to make a single twig, which I don't understand. Um, and let me also make some more of the white daisies while I'm thinking about it. So we can do that. I doubt I'll ever... Well, I say that now, but I think five is enough. Ah, uh, what the heck, we'll make six. I'm right here. Okay, batch crafting. I gotta, I gotta train for Greg Tech, you know, where you, you think you need five of something, so instead you make 500 of it. That's, that's basically how you need to, how you need to do it. Okay, so we need some more living wood. Grab 
that. Go ahead and accelerate. As soon as we have nether quartz, we can automate this, and we're very close to having nether quartz now. Okay, so I need three twigs, and then I place them in a diagonal with, I think, any two petals, yeah. And so then you can put this wand in bind mode, or if you crouch click, it can be in function mode. So we want to bind this mana spreader to that mana pool and then it will uh, properly work. I, no, it's not working. Control click, control click, there we go. Now it's aiming at it. Perfect. Um, function mode, I think, is what we want to leave it on. And then these should automatically get bound to the mana spreader since it's the only one around, I think. And then what we'll do is a pretty simple solution that people in my Discord helped me figure out uh, to drop things. We just have a wooden pressure plate and there's this thing called an open crate, which just drops stuff out the bottom. And wait, 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 did I use this? No, I think I just used a hopper. Um, you can use open crates to drop stuff too. Why am I forgetting if I use the open crate or the hopper now? I don't know why. Uh, hmm. I can't remember. Do hoppers drop items on the ground? Like literally can't remember how to play Minecraft. No, that's droppers, not hoppers. So we do need an open uh, crate. Which uses living wood, which apparently I used all of it. Or no, it uses living wood planks. Don't be fooled. Living wood planks. I was going to say, I'm like, no, we didn't use all our living wood. So then I need eight planks to make one of these. Then we've got our open crate, which goes underneath, and then that will drop items that the hopper feeds it. And then we need that redstone signal. Um, I guess we have to move one of these to here. And then we'll have the redstone signal come to the hopper. Like this. And then on top of the hopper, or just into the hopper, we need an exporter. This is kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Need to get this going down as quickly as possible. I think we'll go this way. Okay. And then that needs to connect underneath. That's connected. And now we need charcoal. I'm gonna do blocks of charcoal because those just last forever. It's very nice. Uh, the problem is we don't have those auto-crafted. So we'll throw that in a pattern. And then throw that in there. And then we keep it stocked. 
one of these has a space. There we go. Boom. Okay, so blocks of charcoal are done. We should see the furnaces firing up soon. Yep, smelting more charcoal for us. Sweet. And then we set you to export blocks of charcoal. And then the Indo flame should eat that up. Yep, there you go. Look at that. And then they should start, yep, filling up that and it shoots mana into the mana pool. And you can see how much mana is in the mana pool by measuring it. I wish they would give you numbers. All you get is this bar and all of the recipes show you how much of the bar it uses, but it doesn't give you any numbers. And so it's really hard to tell like, for example, the nether quartz, um, you're like, okay, how much does that actually use? Like, it's roughly, I don't know, a third of a half, you know, but it, uh, well, a third of a half of a half, so a third of a quarter, so maybe like a twelfth of a pool, or a fifteenth or a twentieth, it's just really hard to know. And so, yeah, I don't love that. And we're going to need this alchemy catalyst. Um but that's easy. And then once we have the alchemy catalyst, we can make nether quartz. So quartz is just around the corner. Let's see. Sorry, one second. Uh, okay. So that's working. No, it's not working. Why are the other flowers not turning on? Maybe I do need to link them. I didn't remember having to do this. Huh. Maybe I did? I don't know. For some reason... But I didn't bind this one. I thought they just auto-bound to the nearest one. Once they found... Food. So to speak. Okay. I mean, you can see the little X. I just thought... They would try to find it themselves. Okay, are they all on fire? That is a yes. Sweet. Okay, so that's actually quite a bit of mana. Like, I think last time I started with two or three Indo Flames. And so this will... This will get me the mana that I need pretty quickly. Um, and now we can start throwing stuff in. So it's worth a look, because I don't remember all of them, at, to see just what we can make in here. A lot of it is these petals. You can you can turn flowers into smaller flowers. I don't totally understand that. Um, rotten flesh turns into leather, which can be kind of nice, but you need the alchemy catalyst. So we're looking for ones without the alchemy catalyst right now. String gets us mana infused string. Um, nether quartz into mana quartz. You can make mana powder from basically anything. Mana diamonds, we don't have diamonds yet. Actually, you can make mana diamonds out of sun crystals, which we will do soon. Mana pearls are easy. Mana steel, yep, iron. Throw iron into it. You can duplicate a lot of things once you have the Conjuration Catalyst. And the Alchemy Catalyst lets you make a lot of things, but yeah. There's not a ton we can do with just the basic. All right. Um, so let's get the Alchemy Catalyst going. We need to make some brewing stands, which needs some blaze powder. I'll make 32 of. You can also accelerate the window flames and stuff. Oh, the mana spreader's full. I need another mana spreader. And you have to right click to update, which is kind of weird. 
like looking at it doesn't tell you. So, like we can see that endo flame is full. Um, that one's full. So yeah, we need another mana spreader to make sure we're actually getting all of the mana, which of course needs more living wood, which we still haven't automated, but we can make a few more, I guess. Fine. If I must. If I must. And then we'll have to link some of the flowers to the new one. I don't know what a pulse mana spreader does. The Batania book's pretty good. If you read a lot of it, it does explain things. So I probably will need to spend some more time reading it. Find you to you. And I don't know, we'll just go like this side all goes to this mana spreader. And then we'll see if that one starts to empty out. I'll do that one too. Okay, so it looks like this can handle just over five. Like it's it's slightly catching up with five. And this one, so I guess we need six then on each. And then they're both gonna be going pretty much full time. Yeah, they're actually filling up. I would need a third one. Well, that's good. That's tons of mana then. Two mana spreaders going full time is quite a bit. And now we can drop in, was it netherrack? Does this do anything? Or do I need the catalyst first? No, that doesn't do it yet. Need the catalyst first. Which needs some more living rock. Brewing stands, mana pearls. Now that I can do. Pearl. Two, three, four. I'll just make a stack of mana pearls. Whee! Okay, not quite enough mana for 16 of them. I like how it pops out. Because we need these for lots of other things, so I figured I would just make a bunch of extra to start. Throw those in. And now we should be good. No, I need more living rock. Of course I do. I want to make two to start, because to make the conjuration one, you need a copy or you need to include an alchemy catalyst as an ingredient. So then you'll still need one that's an alchemy catalyst because certain things have a different reaction. A lot of them don't matter, like a lot, but some things you can either do the alchemy or the conjuration catalyst and they have different reactions. In fact, I think netherrack is one of them. You can duplicate netherrack with the conjuration or you can, um, what am I trying to say? Or you can turn it into Nether Quartz. The Alchemy Catalyst. So that one will be Alchemy, Alchemy Catalyst. And then this one will be... Um, well, you know what I could do? I have enough Living Rock left? I don't think I have any left. Uh, let's make some more. I'm just going to split and go half and half with those two mana pools. Okay, so make a new mana pool. Boom. And then we direct you to you. 
Now I do want to make sure I'm going half and half. So... I'm going to have the back all go to the right. So that is six. And then the front goes to the left. Two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully they're equal now. so and then these will both fill up pretty quick and now check this out nether quartz it's beautiful it's beautiful we have nether quartz finally and can we replicate nether quartz i'm trying to remember if there's a way to replicate it i don't need elven quartz well you can just conjuration but we can also just do nether i guess this is cheaper maybe Again, I wish this had a number because I have no idea. Is this cheaper or is the nether quartz cheaper? That looks more expensive, actually. However, we get three nether quartz per quartz ore. So if you think about it, that I could get even up to four. I could get up to six if I do the pyro concentrator induction smelter. So that's probably the best way to get large amounts of nether quartz. If you cared about such things. I think I'll just throw it in the pulverizer. That'll get me three. Each. Okay. There we go. There's 11. And how much can you get me? Three. So I used up all my mana to get 14 nether quartz ore. And I'll throw these in the pulverizers. Y'all, this is exciting stuff. There it is. Boom. So we've got our first nether quartz. Awesome. <coughs> And what did we want to do with that? Well, now we can make detectors. <coughs> which is a pretty big deal. And I can also make this thing work. I think. What did I need? I needed... An observer or a detector. Yeah. And then it will trigger a clock that will trigger this. Only work with redstone signal. So then I want an observer. I don't know exactly how these work. Again, don't know my Minecraft. Uh, we want it to be looking that way. Does it only send redstone out the back, or will it send redstone out the side? I think it only sends redstone out the back. We'll have to move the water. My inventory is a nightmare. Hold on. Rid of all this junk, please. Okay, that's a little better. I, I actually need all these things. I don't need the shears right now. Okay, pick you up. Then let's make sure this does work when it sees a block. It does. It pulses when it sees a block. So... Then we want it to hit that timer thing. 
which we removed and probably put into our network. Timer. And then we rotate that properly. There we go. Now, how many seconds? A hundred seconds? I don't know how many seconds it takes. to uh, bog earth properly. Couldn't tell ya. But we will put the water here. And then we should be able to mostly automate the bog earth thing now. Oh no, I forgot this was my coarse dirtinator. Now I'm turning it into the bog earthinator. Bog earth. So I'm gonna need to auto. Ah. Uh, I moved this off tab. That was a mistake. I'm gonna need to auto craft the bog earth to a certain amount, which means I need to auto craft water cans. Just, you know, if you give a mouse a cookie, man. Really does work that way, don't it? <sighs> See, I hate not knowing. I could underneath this put a mechanical user with an acceleration wand. But I feel like if I just have it go naturally, it'll work. How slow is this? Maybe this is too slow. Hundred seconds ain't gonna do it. We haven't even hit 33% yet. Jeez. Okay. Really? Still nothing. 1300 ticks. Uh, at least hit 33% maturity for me. 1500 ticks. Okay, so this needs like at least five minutes then without a without a user. So I'm going to put a user underneath it, which then will go here. This is an. Uh, it's actually not in my way. User. Don't need a connection. Do need to rotate you. Uh, use item, upper left slot, fastest wand. There we go. Did that not work? Oh, because I have... There we go. Okay. So let me slap the bog earth in there. I need one. Tell you what to put in. Okay. Sweet. And now we just need to reduce this timer by like a lot. Three seconds, maybe. Hmm. Huh. Thought it emitted a redstone pulse. Maybe it needs to be on a block. Uh, the whole, so that's something that's always confused me in Minecraft is like, does a block have, like, does it put redstone into this block or the block underneath it or the block front and underneath? Like, it just always confuses me no matter what.
repeatedly send a redstone pulse. It doesn't seem to be doing that. Okay, let's just test it. Okay. Do I need a torch? Like what? That doesn't seem to be triggering the breaker. That's the problem. I don't know how to get redstone onto that block. Um, now I think redstone torches invert things is the problem. So now it's working. So the problem is it's a pulse is too short. <sighs> of course it is. Of course a pulse is too short. Gosh, freaking dang it. I, I just can't even with this game. Come on, man. So then we need a, a what, a repeater? No, comparator, what is it, RF tools? What are, what are my other options here? Transmitter, receiver, sequencer, counter, logic gate, sensor, analog. a series of redstone signals in a pattern you can set in the GUI sequencer where'd you go let's try you um Loop the cycle all the time, ignore redstone signals. Restart on redstone pulse. Sequence length, 64. Delay, one. So we can like pulse for longer. Ooh, still not long enough. Wait, this isn't working. I'm so confused. Only work with redstone signal. You're you're getting a redstone signal, are you not? N now it's getting a redstone signal. This game makes no sense to me. Okay, well, apparently that's working. And now we want a uh, restart on redstone pulse. Sequence length 100. Oh, is 64 the max? I think 64 is the max. Of course it is. Um, so 
So then we'll make the sequence just 10. And then we need the timer. Oh my God. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I feel like I'm such an idiot. Uh, no, I'm not an idiot, but it does feel silly sometimes knowing that there are easy solutions and not knowing what they are. Okay, so this should then... Wait, what? Now it's not destructing? What? What connection was it that was giving you a redstone signal? Something, something's very confusing to me. I might need to Google some basic <laughs> redstone stuff because I just assumed this would work. Um, Because, like, do I just need a repeater here, maybe? To, like, actually go into the block? that can't uh, goodness nope it doesn't seem to work get a redstone. How about this. It doesn't connect. I'm at my wits and I don't know how to do this. And I feel like what I'm doing should be working. So putting putting a redstone, let's try this. What about this block? Redstone torch, doesn't work. Redstone torch there, doesn't work. When was it working? Okay, a redstone torch there works. So why does powder not work? Powder only redstoneifies the block below it, but when the but when this block is redstoned, doesn't that Isn't this redstone a block too? No. Okay, now that's working. I swear, is that not what we just did? So then we turn this and this, and now it's working again?
four, five, six, seven, eight. So what? I've got 24. Okay, so I think it was a timing thing. I think we weren't going for enough pulses in a row. Okay. That makes me feel a little better. So then I can rearrange this a bit. Timer here. And that will reset every time it gets updated. Now, maybe I can just do the sequencer and it gets reset every time it gets updated. Restart if new pulse arrives. So that'll keep restarting every time a pulse arrives. Look at all this peat I have. Um, bog earth. Yeah, if I didn't need mulch, this would be so easy to automate in a carpenter. But mulch is kind of annoying. We need a moistener with straw. Uh, so instead, I will make another stack of water cans myself. Fluid transposer. Filling cans. Yeah, it's just a pain in the butt to do all that. I, mean, I can just make a few stacks and then easily fill a bunch over here. But yeah, I, I guess you need like a solid, you know, 10 or 15 pulses to make that work. Come on, go faster. I'm glad we were able to get it, though. Makes me feel a little less dumb. And, like, the idea I had was at least correct at the core. I figured a pulse would be enough to trigger the destructor. That's that's the thing I really got kind of shocked by. Okay, so then I think we're all good. Now we just need the bog earth recipe pattern. Did we already do that? No, I did block of charcoal. So the bog earth pattern here. You pattern that. Throw that in you. And then we would like to keep. Yes, there we go. Bog earth stocked to 64. And then that'll keep going. not waiting long enough. Restart if new pulse arrives. should be doing that. So that's not enough. Eight. So that's 16. 16 still isn't enough. 20. Does it need a full second of being on? Oh, but it's restarting. Oh, wait, 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 flip. Let's make it so it's just the last 20 that are on. There we go. So then it restarts as that updates into a new block, then it breaks. Perfect. Perfect. And I could do this and say 60 because it's taking a little longer than it needs to, but and that kind of gives it a new, a new beginning. Okay. So Pete 
Should be infinite with that. And dirt should be as well. Yeah, the dirt goes up and we use less. So we're limited by water cans. And I think 100 water cans is pretty good because that'll get us 800 bog earth. So this will last a long time without any intervention from me and get us, you know, what is that? 80, 80 stacks? I'll get 100 craftings times 8. Yeah, 800 dirt, which is not 80 stacks, but yeah. Okay, cool. I don't think I need that one. Well, that took a little longer than it needed to, but we got there in the end. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Okay. I could have made this smaller. Whatever. I'm not I'm not messing with it anymore. We're done. We're done. Okay, so now that we're done, what's next? Uh, Batania, nether quartz. Now I can automate some other things that need to be able to sense the inventory of RF or RS. So that's pretty cool. Lapis, lapis lazuli, I think is the next thing I wanna start working on. Cause that only needs gold, water and blue. And we have gold automated already, so now I just need blue to be automated. Now, there's got to be something other than a mechanical user that does the same thing. To, like, click on blocks. But I'm not sure what. Because I'm thinking I would want to plant a blue petal, bone meal it, and then collect it. And I'm not really sure how that all works. Can constructors use stuff like petals, I wonder? Or just blocks? I'm curious about that. We're going to find out. Constructor. And then I'm out of those. There we go. Okay, so if I were to put something like a petal in here, what happens? It... It's just dropping it. Okay. So it doesn't plant. Um... Oh, you know what? I might be able to use an energetic infuser. Hold on. Okay, so we need blue. Die... No. The dollar sign? Die blue. Blue dye, blue pigment, floral blue powder. So we're gonna need some sort of automatic. Oh my God, there's a sequential fabricator. What? There is a machine that does it. Oh, there is, okay. Well, we're gonna have to use that maybe cause that will return the, the pestle and that runs into that problem we had with the redstone and stuff. Um, so mystical flowers, it does not seem like I can put in the, the thing. Pure daisy. We can change the color of petal blocks, but I don't think it probably just loops around. Yeah. Shoot. 
Okay. So does the book have any ideas? Miscellaneous. Dispenser planting. Ah! Dispensers can plant. So then we can dispense, plant, and then use shears. Dispense, plant, use shears. Or dispense, bone meal, use shears. And that can be automated blue dye with a dispenser and two users. The thing I'd really like to know is, is there something other than this? Not from extra utilities too. Cause they're just gonna be super laggy. User doesn't work. Interactor, no. Inter porcupines are nice. Uh, mechanical users, mechanical miners, and scanners interact. Uh, what else can use an item? I'm sure there are things. I'll, I'll have to find out. But yeah, uh, we got to end the episode. We're an hour in. So we're going to call that. We got we got endo flames and mana going, which is pretty dope. I should get some glowstone up here next to these. Sweet. Okay, well, we've got the ability to make all sorts of netherrack. Uh, let's make some mana powder while I'm sitting here. Think oh, crap, that's not mana powder. I thought this made mana powder. Am I making that up? Oh, I need the alchemy catalyst to not be there. Okay. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Okay. Well, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I will see you all next time.